Jordan Troxel. I work for Troy Designs, Lucas Oil Honda. I'm Tara Geiger and Jesse Nelson's a mechanic, but this week I'll be showing you a Transworld Motocross how-to presented by Lucas Oil on Travis Baker's 51 race machine. This week on Transworld's how-to presented by Lucas Oil, I will show you guys how to remove your linkage and grease all the bearings and reassemble it. Um, this is something that a lot of guys overlook. Um, they might think it's too challenging or too hard or too messy, um, but I'm here to show you most of you guys can disassemble it and um, regrease it and put it back in your bike within 30 to 45 minutes. Um, it's something that's very important with new bikes. Um, they come with some grease in them, um, but it pushes out uh, relatively quick and um, you know within 20 or 30 hours of riding you can get seized bearings uh, on a new bike if you don't be careful. So uh, go ahead and disassemble this. With the Honda, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, 17 and 19 millimeter bolts. Remove most all of these nuts. All right, uh, once you get everything disassembled, there's kind of two ways of going about this. Uh, one is a pretty basic way. Uh, most all of you guys at home will be able to do without a problem. Uh, one of the first things is uh, we're working with chemicals here, grease again, so you wanna use protection, use rubber gloves. Um, that way the oil and chemicals don't get into your skin. I'll push these collars out and these bushings. Once I get that stuff out, um, there's a seal right here. I'm just going to take this little screwdriver and just go ahead and kind of roll it around, get all the dirt out, get inside, get all the um, extra grease out of the lip on both sides. All the way around, I'm, I would do this for both of these, this one and this front dog bone. And I'll get some paper towels and kind of go inside. You want to be careful because these are floating needle bearings and uh, they can come out pretty easily and then you'll have a mess. So just want to kind of go inside, wipe all the dirt and old grease out. Uh, once you get all those back in, you can put another layer of grease around it, just like I did in this upper bushing. Clean that bushing, insert it back through, put your collars. Um, do that to each one of the three pieces on this rocker. Uh, also, you can remove these bearings up here and do all those as well. Uh, once you pack them, repack them with grease, insert all your bushings. You can take your final piece and it can start to go back on the bike. Um, for these bolts, uh, we use assembly lube and we hit the threads and some of the bolt right here just to make sure it moves freely inside the linkage. All right, first thing you want to do is once you put the rocker back in, um, insert the top bolt through it and the sh bottom shock bolt. This is something you want to go ahead and torque now because once you insert the dog bone, uh, you won't be able to get to the nut from this side to torque the bottom shock bolt. So 
Um, this is something for other brands you're going to want to check your specifications in your manual. Uh, for the Honda, the bottom shock bolt is 32 foot-pounds. And you can put the dog bone back on. The Honda specification for these two bolts right here, 39 foot-pounds. Uh, same for the top rocker bolt on the other side is also 39 foot-pounds. Uh, just take the bike off the stand. Make sure nothing binds up. And you're good to go. That's it for this week's um, Transworld How-To presented by Lucas Oil on removing and greasing your linkage.